Hi, welcome to Antichamber. We're going to do four exits, four different exits. Uh, so you'll have come here from a number of different places. But the basic premise is the same. If you've only got the green gun, you can only go to the green room. Once you've got the yellow gun, you can get to the yellow and red rooms, but without the red gun, you won't be able to solve the red room. Actually, that's not quite true. Um, first of all, push the little block over there towards the thing, jump up onto the yellow one, and then across to here. If you want to see how to do this room here, uh, stay watching, otherwise skip ahead. I'll put a time link in the description. But you basically grab all these blocks here until you've got a full complement, and then draw a square around here, like this. There we go. And close that off there, because once you fill a, once you draw a whole square, it'll fill, uh, it'll fill everything inside which you probably know from farming blocks from earlier. Once you've got the red gun, you can be silly and do that. But if you still only got the green gun, just draw the square ar again around like this, and it will fill it in. It will then hide those uh, lasers, allowing you to pass through here to the next room. Anyway, once you're done there, if you need to know how to get into the yellow room, that's pretty easy. You will need the yellow gun, because you need to be able to move blocks. But push the big, huge, great block here, in front of the yellow uh, way up. Push the little one up next to it, here. There we go. And then move the little yellow brick uh, up against this block here. Move it like that, there we go. And it wants to be, well, one up from there. But no big deal if you don't move it properly the first time. Just grab it while you're standing on it and then aim it up here and it should lift you up. Remember to jump off. And then move this one up, jump up there and across here. There we go. If you want to know how to solve this problem, keep watching. Otherwise, again, skip ahead and we'll cover the red room. Uh, this is basically the same deal as last time. You need to make squares. There's no way you're going to fill all those lasers as they are. So that you want to make a square in the middle with the pieces you've already got by moving the blocks using the yellow gun. Again, you won't be able to do this with the green gun, but then you can't get up here anyway with the green gun, so no big deal. Now, I haven't got enough pieces left here, so I'm just going to drag another one over here, and then close off the square, and you'll see four new pieces will appear in the middle. There. Now, you need to do this twice. You need eight additional blocks. So, build up there, and then just uh, keep moving them around until the central area completely clears. And once the central area is clear, it might take a few goes. I've done it possibly the longest way I could imagine. There we go. Oh, uh, stupid mouse twitch. I hate playing with mice. I miss my gamepad. Uh, then bring, uh, once you've cleared the middle, just reclose the middle again. You'll get four more blocks. And now you've got enough to draw your way all the way around the outside. So all the way down here. And then all the way along the bottom. You might be chasing your tail a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. And then all the way up to here. You'll probably find that bit disappears a bit, but then bring it up there. It might disappear one more step, but then close it there, and you'll find it fills in, and you can now pass through that door into chamber number six. Anyway, I will leave chamber number six to the next video. Head back here, and we'll have a quick look at the red room. It's basically exactly the same as the yellow room. You push this big block as far as it'll go, so it's facing the red wall. Push the slightly smaller block the, uh, there, up against it, and then bring the yellow brick down so that you can use it as a little step ladder there. And you'll notice I've sent it too low there, but I'll move it up from outside. So center it and then just move it up one little step. Jump up there, jump up there, Oop, try not to fall off. Jump up there and there. And then bring it around and do the same thing as last time. You want to bring it up here. Now it's a little bit high this time, I can't jump onto it from there, so I'm bringing it down a notch. And then you just jump over here to the long corridor. Now this corridor's a bit weird. That'll pop up, and if you run through, you'll get chucked into the impossible rooms. Uh, so what you need to do is jump, and that will get rid of that, and you can pass through here to a little secret dead end. There we go. Anyway, hope that was useful. See you in the next one. Bye!